this is soggy bottom and it looks like we had a bit of a rain last night but we're not going to know for sure until we go over there in the backyard and check out Stanley's old Indian weather rock. And if the rock is wet, that means we had some rain. And yeah, birds, the rock is wet. It's been confirmed. We had some rain. <laughs> Howdy, Foss and Patty here. And you could probably hear little Miss Titi. She's playing in the hallway. <laughs> but yes, birds, I am still here at the table. And I decided that I would just finish up a few things that I had already started. And one of the things was to organize my Janet Nash prompts. And this was from the last video when I was working on some mixed media. And what I did was I took this little notebook. I found it over there on the table. And I made one page for each week's prompt. And then I'm writing down when I actually did the journal page. And I added on the two weeks that I was missing. So now I have all the prompts up to date and the journal pages that I made from them, which is not a lot, but I'm gonna try and keep it organized. And inside my Dilutions Mixed Media Journal, there is this wonderful pocket. So I'm gonna put that right in there. And remember to take it out on Mondays and fill in the new prompts. Now, while I was writing out the prompts, there was one set that really stuck in my mind and I st <laughs> While writing out the prompts, there was one set that really stuck in my mind and that's probably going to be the next set that I do, but not tonight. So at least I got a little bit of organization done with this journal. And now I hope you come on along for the next part. I put the Dilutions journal back on the shelf for now. And I'm going to toss out that scrap paper. This is here from yesterday, <laughs> and this is here from the other day. You know, I was working in my rock journal, and that was journaling rocks. And I was going to work on this page, and I was going to draw a picture of my happy rock, and I was going to glue something on this page, wasn't I? Hmm. Okay, first things first. I think what I'm going to do is splatter some white on this page to make it look a little bit more like a blizzard. And then when this is dry, where's my blizzard stone? <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna put a picture of my blizzard stone on here and a little bit of journaling. And I do still have paint on the table from yesterday. And now I need to cover this page and put a paper under here and get something to splatter some paint. Now this is just an old watercolor study that I did trying to get a snowy woods with some trees in the background and some trees in the foreground. Yeah, it didn't work out really well, but that's okay. I saved it anyway. Okay, I have a little inexpensive white acrylic paint, and I just put it on this plastic lid. I have a toothbrush and like a fan brush. And I'm trying to get some more snow on here, and it's going all over the table and all over my rocks. <laughs> Maybe I need to put up a shield over here. There. <laughs> it 
see if that works. And I always have to remember to, to check the camera because I always get it on the camera lens. So my idea was to make a blizzard out of this snowy scene by getting a lot more white on there. I did this once and I didn't realize I had splashed the lens and I think for a week all the videos have a big gray spot on them. Should we try the toothbrush? Oh, I took out a lot of paint. Well, that is almost a complete whiteout. And I'm going to have to let this dry for a while. So we're going to put this aside. And while that page is drying, I'm going to work on the sketch of the happy face rock that I was going to make. I'm looking at all the rocks under the camera and they are now all officially blizzard rocks because they're all speckled with white. But that's okay, it's just acrylic paint. I'm not gonna worry about it. And I've got a little card and I've got my happy face rock and I said I wanted to do a sketch. I've got these cheap watercolors that I got at the flea market. They might do perfectly for today. I've got water, I've got my brush. And I'm going to do a little sketch and then I think what I'm going to do is give it a little color and then when it dries I'm going to go over and put in the black lines over the watercolor. Now I have to hold it because the, the face is at a funny angle and so I want to be able to see it so I have to hold it like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put in the outline shape of the rock and then it's got kind of kind of like a little bit of face here and this side is darker more in the shadow and then it's got two eyes and a nose and a mouth so it's got a little eye here and a little eye there and a nose and a and a little happy face like that it doesn't have to be perfect it's just a little sketch if you're not used to sketching rocks are something really fun to try because they're all different shapes all different colors you cannot go wrong drawing a rock <laughs> You cannot go wrong drawing a rock. Okay. I left a little room here. Maybe I'll write in happy face rock. Got some lines up there. Okay, I'm going to take a very soft eraser. This is a factus eraser. Extra soft, dust free. And when you're using watercolor paper, it does have some sizing on it. And if you want to erase, it's really good to use a very soft eraser so you don't take off the coating that's on the paper. And I'm just going to lighten up the lines a little bit before I put on the watercolor. I'm going to go over it with black ink anyway. Okay, that is enough. All right, what I need to do is activate the watercolors. <laughs> and you activate your watercolors by spraying them with water and letting them sit for a few moments. I'm mostly interested in like pink and peachy and white. The black, I'm gonna use my pen for the black. So something like this this tone, I might add a little pinkish to it, maybe the white in the shadow. I don't know, I might put a little bit of blue in the shadow or green. We could add a touch of brown. Let's just activate all of them. How's that? <laughs> I 
and you can use the indented parts on this side as mixing wells if you would like. Okay, I'm going to start, where's my little rock here? I'm going to start with putting in, I'm going to start on the dark side first, I think. I have to move that out of my way. All right, I'll turn a little sideways here. Oh, I also have this little scrap I can test out my colors on. Let me see what some of these colors are. That's kind of like an olive, but that might be a good, a good color for this one, maybe. I wonder if these are gouache. They look kind of opaque. Well, maybe that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. You can always go darker afterwards. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this color, not a lot, down in the corner here. All right, so it's sort of pinky peachy. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put some of that dark all across the bottom. And this is going to give our happy face rock a little bit of dimension by making one side a little darker. And this side will be brighter. And I think this side will be medium. Medium there. And let's see. This kind of looks like this. Oh yeah, very nice. Kind of like a flesh color. I might add a little bit of the pink around inside the face. Now I don't have to go strictly by what this looks like. <laughs> I can do it any way I want, and I can give it more layers if I want to. And then when I use the black pen, that'll bring out like all the details. Now this rock does not have pink cheeks, but I'm definitely going to give this happy face a little bit of a blush there. So speaking of faces and rocks. I was in the kitchen earlier and Mr. Possum had gone outside to do his outside things, fill the bird feeders, take out the garbage, all of that. And he came in and he said, I've got something for you. Here, take, take a look at this. I got you this. It's a zebra rock. You got me a zebra rock? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. And I was like, oh, what you got? He said, I found a rock. I said, what kind of rock? He said, this is a zebra rock. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> a zebra. Oh, I said, oh, that's nice. Because what it was was a piece of nice, G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, nice. And it does look like the head of a zebra. And it's got a black nose and an eye. And it's black and white stripes. So you might have noticed the zebra on the table <laughs> during the opening. And so I brought my zebra upstairs to keep my zebra rock some company till I get it into my journal. And I thought that was so sweet of Mr. Possum. Yeah, he saw a rock that he thought was interesting and he brought it into me. I'm going to add a little more of this flesh tone. And I think I need something a little pinkier. Pinky. Maybe if I mix some pink in with the flesh tone. A little bit of that brown in there too. Get it darker. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and come back and put another layer. As you can see, I did not try to be realistic when I did the rock. I made the face bigger and pinker just so it stands out because, you know, the point is, it's a happy rock, right? <laughs> so I'm going to make the eyes darker just using a black fine liner and the nose and the mouth. Paint's still a little bit wet here. And then 
it's got all these black lines in there and I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to put too many around the face but if I put some up here it might look like hair it's got some coming in around the side so I'm just gonna kind of doodle on here and that's just going to make the face pop out even more if I stay away from the face, which I'm going to do. I'm going to try and make some of the lines a little sketchy and lighter. I'm trying to make it look a little more rock-like, except for where the face is. I might put a little bit under the mouth there. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do any on the face. <laughs> I didn't want it to be too perfect there, yeah. Well, that almost, oh my gosh. <laughs> it almost looks like arms and a little hand there. <sighs> I didn't do that on purpose, but I'm going to leave it. Like his arms are folded. Oh, it's a little sitting person. I call the trees the standing people, and I call the rocks the sitting people. Okay, I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to leave it just like that. I love it. I love it. And I wanted to write happy rock on here. Just like that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's give that ink a moment to dry. Oh, you want to see close up? Oh, here he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, this is my little happy rock. I'm printing out the description of the granite that mentions half dome, and that's going to go on one page, and then I'm going to glue my happy rock picture inside on the opposite page. And then we'll go back to the blizzard page. Now this is a Canon Mini Ivy printer. I know I say that a lot, but a lot of folks still ask me. And you use your phone to control the printer. And there's no ink in here. The ink is actually like in the paper. Move that out of the way. Yeah, so folks still ask me about the printer. And you know what? I was talking about Janet Nash's live back at the beginning of the video and a few people asked me about doing a live too and you know I'm like I can't do a live because my internet is so bad it just buffers and buffers and buffers and it doesn't upload and it doesn't download and you know we've just had problems with it my gosh, for probably over two years now. I spilled a big drop of water right there on his face, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> you start messing with things, and they usually get a little worse. So we're just going to glue the happy rock there. And I might come back and add something over there, but I kind of like this. That comes with a big hug just for you. Okay, we've got him glued in there. And now I printed out the description and I'm gonna put it on this side. And half dome is down there, so we don't wanna cover that up. But I could put it right next to it. Yeah, so let me tell you the story about the internet. You know, we called and we complained and we called and we complained and you know, they would say, oh, we will reset it from here. And they press some magic button. And they're like, oh, now your speeds are better. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> and they did that like two or three times. And, you know, we just kept complaining. And they kept doing nothing. And so we kept calling them up. And they just have one excuse after another. You know, too many people on the line, blah, 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 this thing, that thing, the other thing. You know, it just, they just wouldn't do anything about it. So we figure we're in the country and there's no other providers available on our street. 
And what are we going to do? And we just kind of live with it for, I'm telling you, like two years we've lived with it. And then all of a sudden the other day, I see a cable truck across the street putting in a line. And I'm like, oh, Mr. Possum, Mr. Possum, there's a new company available on our street. Yay. And we called them up right away. And we said, we want to switch services. <laughs> and they said, we'll be out. Let me get a marker. I'm going to color these little mittens and put them with the stone down here. I just feel like I need to add something to this page. I grabbed a couple of blue markers. Yes, so here's what happened. So the cable guy comes out to the house and he says, we have to run a line from the pole to the house. Now, Mr. Possum said, it's got to be underground. He doesn't want a, a wire hanging. All our other utilities are underground from the pole. So the guy says, okay, so he goes up on the pole and there's like a PVC pipe that goes from the pole and a, under the ground across the street and under our yard into our house. So he's going to snake his cable through this PVC pipe so it comes to the house. So he gets up on the pole and he sees this white rag tied around a cable just before where it goes into the PVC pipe. And he's wondering what that's all about. So he moves the rag to the side and oh my gosh, the cable, our internet cable that we had was like completely chewed through. It was just like hanging by <laughs> hanging by the plastic on one side and a couple of wires. I mean, it was almost completely chewed through. I don't know how, how we had any internet service whatsoever. He had never seen anything like it before. It looks like somebody took an ax and was like chopping at it. And Mr. Possum says it kind of looks like maybe a squirrel was eating it or something. <laughs> but whatever it was, that's what made our internet so bad. So basically for two years or more, we've been paying for internet service and living with this chopped up cable and not getting any good service whatsoever. And as many times as we complained, they never came out and checked the cable. They just always had an excuse. So now we have a new cable, new cable service, and our internet is working, knock on wood. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm trying to stick to the blue family here. I got some blue washi along the side there. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it was amazing. Before it would take me 30, 40, 50 minutes to upload a video. And now it takes me three or four or five minutes to upload a video. It's like, I can't believe how fast it is. It's like, oh my gosh, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm like, well, maybe a project for 2024 at some point would be to try out doing a live. Now that we have internet service that actually works, Ooh, maybe I should put some blue on here. Oh, can I use the marker? I think what I need to do is send our old cable company the picture of the cable and tell them this is why we switched because we had complained about it for a really long time and they really never did anything. And of course, when we were turning it off, they were all like, well, we're the most reliable cable company in the world, you know? <laughs> like, not really. Not really. Okay, I'm just gonna take a moment and glue these things down. These little wooden mittens came from one of the Crafter Square Christmas sticker packs 
they have little wooden pieces in there. Some are sparkly and some are ready to paint. But if you don't feel like painting, you could just grab some magic markers like I did and color them in. I've had those for quite a while. And I just thought I would add something to the page. So I put day 32 because this one says day 31. And I put day 33 over here on my happy face rock. And this is about the same rock, so I don't need to add something extra to that page. Oh, and I had a new idea. I got this idea last night. And I'm going to get my box of rocks and put them in a different kind of order. I'm going to start with number one. I'm going to put the basalt in number one and label it number one. And then the dinosaur quartz number two. So I'm going to go through the journal and put the rocks in the same order that they're in the journal in. That makes sense? Sure, it makes sense. <laughs> so the box of rocks will actually match what's in the journal. Yes! And then I'll put all the other rocks in an overflow. So I guess this time of year, spring cleaning, my mind is just ready to organize everything. And you know what? I got to strike while the iron's hot <laughs> because I'm not always in the organizing state of mind. Who's at the door? Who's at the door? It's Stinky Winky Woos. Stinky Winky Woos just came into the room. Yeah, she came in to keep me company because Titi went out to be with Mr. Possum. And it was on my mind to get those rocks organized. I have a box of friendship rocks and a box of rocks that came from the dirt road and a box of rocks that came from other places. But I think I'm going to organize one box to go ahead and match the journal. <laughs> Good idea, Possum Patty. Why didn't I think of this earlier? So I'm so happy I got a few things done and I'm in the mood to organize. And I want to thank you for coming along and keeping me company while I did that. And I want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye-bye. I'm going to have to go around the other side of that wall and pet that green rock right there. Look at the green on this rock. Oh, beautiful soft moss. Beautiful soft moss. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous.